Do men need to experience rejections? Well, unfortunately, yes. It is just a part of life to experience people saying no to you or you not getting your way or things just genuinely not going the way that you were hoping for. But it is a really important element really of someone experiencing rejection or failures in life because that's how you just learn from things. So in application to the world of dating, you have to experience rejections, you have to experience failures because that's how you learn to know what you like and what you don't like in the world of dating. And on top of that, you also learn to become more desensitized to rejections or again, people telling you no. So like I remember when I had first started uh, my dating journey all those years ago. And I think for me, one of the scariest things about, um, about experiencing rejection was just what it said about me personally. If people were saying no to me, if I was going up to them to ask for their phone number, what did that say about me? Did that mean that I was unattractive? Did that mean that I was unlovable and people just didn't want me? You know, was I going to forever be alone and whatnot? It's amazing how our limiting beliefs can just seriously take off and you get this like snowball effect kick in and your brain just goes wild with ideas, but ideas of things that just really aren't true. So the only way really you can tackle that problem is to face it head on. You have to essentially face your rejections to overcome them. And that is the most hardest thing really for like any guy to to do, because you are essentially having to face your ego and your pride And you have to accept that whatever level of confidence you've got is most likely going to be shattered before it can be rebuilt and made stronger, which kind of reminds me of the um, the old school uh, China pot stories of like if a pot would break, um, they would be essentially glued back together with gold and it would make them even more beautiful and more desirable the more cracks and flaws and whatnot that each vase would have because perhaps maybe it would tell a story of the growth of just you know what has this pot or vase gone through to have such beauty and so much gold in it And again, this is kind of the same thing. I know it's a weird metaphor, but it really is the same thing when it comes to building confidence and experiencing those rejections will allow you to, again, become more desensitized to the experiences. And ultimately, then it just means that you're going to be less and less phased about being rejected or accepting that things aren't always going to go the way that you are hoping for and that is absolutely fine and as long as you are continually continuously i should say doing something then there again is no reason why you shouldn't end up evolving and being a better man why is it so scary for guys to you know take that initiative to go out and start talking to people well I mean, it's understandable just how hard it is if you have a lot of social anxiety that going out and doing something on your own is not going to be easy. Because if it was, I think probably most of the self-improvement industry would be just completely done for uh, because people would just know how to fix themselves. It can be a very hard and bitter pill to swallow when you know that the only way that you're going to become more confident and uh, overcome your rejections or overcome uh, people telling you no is to experience being told no and to experience those rejections. You know, I've seen, I think even over the years where clients of mine have done like social freedom exercises where they've gone into like a restaurant 
uh, where they only do burgers and then they've asked for like a pizza and they've purposely just wanted to experience no and okay in a more playful manner but the experience of no and embracing it can be a really great way to just overcome it to just let it go and in fact think about even the different circumstances that may happen in your life where you will be rejected or you will be told no and this isn't in fact maybe just in dating like if you were to maybe go for a job and you didn't get the job you know let's say you really let that get to you what are you going to do never apply for a job again Absolutely not. You go out there and you do it again. Or you will fill in your CV and you'll send it to 20, 30, 40 plus different jobs and you'll see what happens. And you just adapt and you adjust your CV accordingly until eventually you get the job. You don't let it get the better of you. You don't let it bring you down or Yes, you might be sad to not get a job straight away if you're really genuinely looking hard. But you also want to find a job that's going to be right for you. So that would be, I I suppose, an example for a job, you know, being told no for things. But what about, you know, for women that you're attracted to? Well, if a woman says no to you, that she's not interested in you, all that really says is that she's not interested in the version that you are now or you could in fact just not be her type in general and even that is something that you need to accept that you aren't going to be to every woman's taste and really all you can do is make yourself the best version that you can be bring out that much more confident version of yourself where you have become desensitized to these no's and these uh, rejections and whatnot. So eventually you will come across women who are attracted to you. They really do like your personality and your confidence and this new version of you that you've become because you're not letting the fears and phobias of social anxiety or rejections holding you back from being a much better person. And I think it's safe to say as well, when you kind of let go of these limiting beliefs or these particular anxieties, you really do become so much more liberated in living and wanting to do stuff. I mean, imagine then, rather than being hesitant about going to a social event because you're scared people won't talk to you, Imagine as the alternative, after doing that so many times, getting that experience out of the way, you've gone to some events, wasn't for you, people weren't interested in talking to you, but you kept going, you kept practicing, and eventually you became more sociable. And what was the byproduct of that? You're now going to events and whatnot, or socializing in places, and you are easily able to talk to people the body is able to adapt and evolve in different environments and i think i've even done a video about how we are a product of our environment and it is absolutely true so the more you can put yourself in environments that are a little bit scary maybe even a little bit intimidating for you but you know that you will inherently learn particular social skills in that environment if you really try your hardest then absolutely you're going to overcome any issue that you've got and trust me when I say after the Darren Brown experience that I had when I was on a placebo it was exactly the case that all of these limitations all of these fears of rejections and social anxiety, it really is all up here. And if you can learn to let go of that, sky's the limit. You you could be having whatever kind of social life or dating life you've always wanted, but it does take effort and it does take practice. So what's the moral or the point with this video is that I want you to embrace the fact that rejections and being turned down and told no uh, in life it really is just a part of life it is normal to experience rejections and again not have things go your own way 
happens even to the most attractive of men, it happens to even the most confident of men, and happens even to the most powerful and richest as well. Everyone experiences rejections, and again, it's just a part of life, it's normal. And the sooner you can accept that, the easier it is to start taking those initial steps to actually move on from it and do something about it. So if you are interested in doing something about it, I offer two particular services which could be absolutely fantastic for you. So the first one is my life coaching, which will see me holding you accountable and helping you to really take action on particular areas of your life that you maybe are hesitant and scared of doing. And you can allow me then to persuade you and talk you into changing your mind and really get you to see that, you know what? It's absolutely okay to be scared and worried about a new experience, but you know what, if you really want to do it, if you really want to learn something from it and be better within it, then you have to learn to embrace it. And that is something that certainly my life coaching can help with. So whether it be in dating or business or lifestyle stuff, that is going to be a great option for you. Otherwise, alternatively, for the guys who really want to overcome their social anxiety with talking to strangers, especially in the cold approach scene, then I do offer my dating desensitization therapy where I will take you out for a week and I will help you to build your confidence with talking to strangers. I'm not too worried about the dating side of things. I can obviously help with that with, you know, conversation skills and asking for phone numbers and trying to maybe help you get on like instant dates and things. But the focus for the dating desensitization therapy is about just getting you comfortable talking to people in unusual and I suppose what would be unsocial environments, which is essentially what the street is because people just don't really like to talk to people in London unless you are doing it in a really appropriate and um, respectful manner. So definitely check out my life coaching and my dating desensitization therapy on my website. I have links in the description below. But other than that, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video and what things are you doing to help you to embrace rejections? What things as well perhaps maybe are you scared of doing in maybe in dating or just in your life in general? But other than that, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below if you can. All of these things really help my channel to grow and allows me to reach even more men and help them with their issues as well. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and look forward to more videos coming out soon.